all right guys let's see the next one which is inconsistent handling of exceptional input let's see what it says this lab doesn't adequately validate user input you can exploit logic flaw in its account registration process to gain access to administrative functionality to solve the lab access the admin panel and delete carlos okay we need to have some kind of a privilege escalation directly through the registration process hmm. okay what does the hint say it says you can use the link in the lab banner to access an email client connected to your own private email server the client will display all messages to your uh, this particular email domain and any arbitrary subdomains your unique email id is displayed in the email client okay let's see the lab okay we have my account but we don't have any account here which means we have to create our own account okay okay uh, before you do that let's uh, create our email client okay so this is our email domain okay you can use this one but you can also use anything so i'm gonna use anything so let's go to register and here let's uh, let the username be hm cyber academy okay and uh, email be hm cyber at the rate email dot com okay and password be asdf okay let's register and here you see please check your emails for your account registration link okay so if i reload this I will have a confirmation email okay uh, before I do anything I'm gonna go back and uh, save this particular domain okay because this is what creates an user that is a part of don't wanna cry company okay so what we can do is we can save this right here so the next thing you need to do is let's uh, go back to my account and if you click this your account will be registered okay so i'm clicking this and here you see account registration successful okay so let's go back to this one and uh, when i click on my account i see this one so hm cyber academy asdf uh, if i log in i see my account okay so this is my username and this is my email mm. that's all fine and uh, this particular thing is working perfectly okay uh, till now it seems to be fine right but it is not okay so we need to explore something that reveals some information okay so what i will do is i'll just create a long string okay long string of uh, any any number of arbitrary things okay this is a long string right so at the end of this long string what i want to do is i want to keep this particular email okay okay so i'll keep this one so this becomes my new email okay so anything that ends with this particular domain will uh, receive the emails right from this so what i will do is i'll just copy this i'll just log out register a new account okay so this time i'm saying hm cyber academy one okay so i'm gonna keep this email and uh, password is asdf and uh, let's register and see what happens we must be getting registration link right so let's come here and reload this so we have a new email to this particular email okay so let's click this and account registration successful i'll go here go to my account okay hm cyber academy one okay so here asdf and uh, if i hit on login the thing that is weird is i do not see the complete email why i cannot see my complete email so i'll just go back to this lo particular location okay so as you can see at the status bar this is like 351 characters okay this is line number one okay in line number one we have like a 351 characters okay so how many characters is this one 
okay how many got deleted actually okay so if i just type here i'll see line 4 and it says 255 characters okay so it has around 255 characters which means some of them got deleted okay so we don't know how many and it is only accepting like 255 characters so what we will do is we know that we need to have this particular email right so we'll use the same thing okay so i'll make a copy of this okay and uh, what i will do is i'll just uh, delete some of these things okay so it's not delete okay uh, i just deleted okay so what i will do is i'll end it with this particular email okay and as you can see it uh, did not complete with 255 characters just like uh, here so what we will do is we will try some extra characters okay one two three four five which will make it 255 characters okay so currently this one is 255 characters ending with don't wanna cry okay so we know that even if we keep anything extra it is going to trim out till here okay so what we will do is during the registration process we will keep uh, this particular thing as subdomain and here instead of this we will keep our own domain okay which is this one so what's gonna happen so it is going to check for this particular domain first and then it is going to send us a confirmation email which will be received by this one and uh, once it once we receive it we'll just confirm it okay and once we confirm and we log into this particular location we will see only the thing that is ending with at the rate dot don't wanna cry dot com okay so there is a possibility that this is ending with don't wanna cry we will have some extra functionality okay so we are gonna go with this let's uh, copy this log out register to a new account this time i'm gonna say hm cyber academy 2 okay so this is the email i want to keep and uh, astf okay so let's uh, register so we cannot keep two at the rate symbols hmm that's interesting right so what we can do instead of this is we'll just keep it as a subdomain okay so it will look something like this okay so what happened is this became a subdomain even though it became a subdomain it, we are still going to receive our emails here okay so let's do that and uh, let's send it and let's see what happens okay it is able to send the registration link to us so just reload this okay we did receive a new email from this particular thing and uh, let's try to register this so uh, registration successful let's go back here go to my account and this time hm cyber academy 2 okay asdf let's hit login and as you can see this is ending with at the rate don't wanna cry dot com only okay so we do not have extra characters and once the website detected this uh, at the rate don't wanna cry dot com so it thinks that we are a part of that particular company okay so it added some other functionality which is this admin panel okay so i can go to admin panel and i can delete carlos Okay then, I'll see you guys in the next one.